The population in sub-Saharan Africa is growing at a fast rate. By 2035, the population is projected to double in Africa due to urbanization. All the cities where you're based are currently, I don't know, 6 million, 7 million population. Over the next 15 to 20 years, those are going to double or even triple. The projections are Dar es Salaam, Nairobi, Addis Ababa are all going to be the size of Cairo, or about 20 million. 70% of this population survives in less than $2 a day. Economists refer to this population as the people living at the bottom of the pyramid. Providing affordable and nutritious food for this growing population is becoming a headache to the government in Africa. That is a huge challenge, of course, for the governments, but also a huge opportunity for the private sector. To reach this potential market, Technosav, a global non-governmental organization that works with enterprising people in the developing countries, brought together food processors from three East African countries for a training on accessing the bottom of the pyramid market. The issue is not just having your product out there in the market. We are moving to start thinking who is consuming that product and what value are they deriving from just getting that product. Technosav, through their market linkage experts in Kenya, Tanzania and Ethiopia, call for proposals from new and established food processing companies to fight for six slots in intensive, fully funded, one-week training on how to penetrate their products into their BOP markets. This training will be conducted by the BOP Innovation Center, a company that supports entrepreneurs in creating commercially viable and inclusive business models that benefit the bottom of the pyramid market. So we're very excited to work with all of you, um, knowing that you're very committed to improving the nutrition of the communities where you're working. This really is the first sector-wide training. This is a very special one because it's focused specifically on the base of the pyramid marketing. We're very excited to start a new relationship with BOP. Six companies made it to the maiden BOP Bootcamp Challenge held in Nairobi, Kenya. Ethno Green and Zago Milk from Ethiopia, Shambani Milk, Rumi and Daughters from Tanzania, and from Kenya, Equatorial Nuts and Aspedos Dairy. to take this opportunity to welcome all of us. This is the second step of our BOP challenge. Um, once again, congratulations. With the stage set for the bootcamp challenge, the training began. The trainees, together with their market linkage experts, went on a fieldwork assignment. They visited high and low end supermarkets and shops to learn consumer behavior. What I learned yesterday while we were surveying in the supermarket is about um, first the brand, the brand loyalty. Because it's new products in a different supermarket that I'm used to, I found it actually quite visually overwhelming to come in these huge signs everywhere every, and everything is bright. On the Midro uh, outlet that we visited, there is a tendency that the consumer knows exactly what is it that I'm going to pick. Uh, we don't have a lot of uh, variety. They are not spoiled for choice, like uh, in the in the high-end market. Mm. Uh, some people, especially the high-end market, some people come with a list of products, so they know the brand and they go pick, 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 and mm. go out. Uh, some people, uh, I think it's huge and a bulk of product. They don't know even what they need, and they uh, walk throughout all the hall without having nothing in their cart. <laughs> <laughs> to penetrate the BOP market, food processors must adopt a business model that puts the consumer first. So only brands that understand African attitudes and archetypes will survive. Why do you say it's very true? We have a very good product, mm -hmm. but if you don't really understand your market, the attitude of purchasing and, uh, and making decisions, stuff like that, I don't think you can really reach that market. The consumer focus is very 
important. So we need to understand who this person is that we are innovating for, okay? So that by the time we go back with a product to the consumer, it's a product that is in touch. The participants were taken through the business canvas model to better their understanding on the business processes, activities, and resources involved in food processing business. In the production chain, it is imperative to be sensitive to the needs of both genders. This helps in production, packaging, and distribution of the products to the consumers. When we talk about using sales agents, let's talk about an example of India as a country. You cannot engage the women to be your agents without having the consent of the men. Putting on our gender lens when you're talking about impact. What are the social benefits? And how will the community benefit from your business being gender inclusive? This consumer's culture, attitude, and behavior matters in view of value proposition. After four days of intensive training and practical exercises, it was time for the groups to put down their business ideas in preparation for the pitching the following day. Only one company would walk away with the ultimate prize, a six to nine months free coaching and mentorship by the BOP Innovation Center worth 35,000 US dollars. You have to be very, very specific and there is no time, so you have to time yourself. On the D-Day, all participants put their best foot forward, eager to clinch the coveted prize. Rumi Shayalan Daughters, Uji Tayari, is a tasty, highly nutritious and affordable instant porridge. For this uh, client, the market is uh, Addis Ababa just by itself is 5 million population. Of this 5 million population, we're expecting 60% to be unfolding in the BOP market. The most interesting, interesting thing about Narisha, it has sugar, making it tasty and very engaging when it comes to preparation. As you prepare, there is an aroma. I like the fact that they understand the Tanzania market, mm -hmm. and I like the fact that they are dealing with the real concern mm -hmm. of that market. For me, they check off most uh, of those boxes. My only worry would be, now when we talk about uh, resources, what is it that you need to do? Is it you need an extra a staff to begin to do this? You need to be very specific. After the pitching was done, everyone was eager to know who the winner will be. But ultimately, there will be only one winner. So our winner for this particular this particular, you know not another one, mm. this particular <laughs> first one. And the first one <laughs> of a kind for us, none other than drum roll. <laughs> Rumi Shail. <laughs> Though only Rumi Shail and Daughters won the ultimate prize, the remaining five companies had something to take home.
As the population in sub-Saharan Africa increases, the BOP market presents a huge potential market for food processors to tap into by producing nutritious and affordable products 